Yeah. It is still cold where we are. So right now it's 30 degrees. We woke up at this beautiful park. I'm gonna show you guys because this is free camping on next level. Like next level free camping. I got charged and I can dump my tanks and I can get water and I stayed here for free. What? Come on, I'll show you, let's go. So we are plugged in. And this is the free RV park. Oh, poor Jigsaw. And this is the information for it. You get one night for free. So we've been here for one night. This is what they call the bathhouse. There is no bath in there. There's no shower. The showers are actually in this pool area, which is closed because we're here off season. But yeah, this is a great find. We have to unplug, clean up, finish drinking coffee. Okay, we're gonna need all the layers of jackets because it's only 30 degrees outside. And I don't really know how we're gonna wash the van without like shivering but i am determined to find this oil leak but we have to do a few steps before we can just go to the car wash jane oh there's no step you want the step i figured you would at least spend a good amount of time outside no no okay you don't have to yell at me you don't have to yell at me listen 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 i was giving you bathroom time don't yell at me stop Okay, the more that I try to complete tasks, like all I did was get the electrical cord wrapped up and put in the back of the van, and now I have to fill up water and I still have to empty my toilet, but now it's starting to get windy. The temperature dropped again. I don't know if I can do this car wash, especially when I'm literally barely, like yeah, I'm on antibiotics, and... I'm sick, but I don't know if doing a car wash is a really smart idea right now, but I really want to find this oil leak. Okay, well, we just tried to start the van and the coolant light came on and we never added coolant. Remember when I told you guys that Jigsaw would like a little splash of coolant? Well, we never added it. So obviously now he's mad. Now he's got a coolant light and now we got to dig the coolant out from underneath the bed and it's like back there pretty far so i'm gonna dig that out add it we need to get out of this cold weather that is that is for certain All right, while Jigsaw gets warmed up, we already, oh my gosh, we're filling up water. I'm so cold, I can't even talk. So we're filling up water. We already emptied our toilet. We're doing this all while Jigsaw warms up. <laughs> I don't think this is a good idea, me staying here or even trying to attempt to do like a cleanup or anything like I am so cold this is miserable Jigsaw's not happy Jane is definitely not happy and I think it we're just gonna we're just gonna go south we I don't want to do I don't want to do anything I just want to go south yeah like this was great to find this free campsite awesome but i just can't <sighs> welcome to arkansas oh yeah nice sunny skies it's still cold as hell
Okay, it's much nicer here. We stopped at this grocery store. I have no idea. I would say my biggest hurdle right now is it's going on three o'clock and I have no clue where we're camping tonight, where we're headed. We're in Arkansas. Hi, babes. Yeah, are you excited? Are you excited? It's warmer. Ah, yeah, ah, okay, hold on, ah, I'm, hold on. Shh. Ah, Please stop, ah, stop, ah, stop. Ah, stop. Ah, I'm basically gonna sit in this parking lot and go through the iOverlander app. The problem with Arkansas is I'm back in mountain country. <laughs> and some of these roads in Arkansas are very twisty, very windy. And when it's cold, it's very icy, very slick. Um, so I have to be very mindful as to what direction I'm headed now. And I have no, I still have no clue. Jane, can we come this way, please? All right, we got back on the road. Um, I ended up going into that store. There's a bunch of bags back there. I'll show you the haul because it only cost me $21. I'm trying to make it to this campsite, but I highly doubt that it's gonna work out because as I get closer and closer, the time of me, my arrival just keeps getting longer and longer because I'm, I guess I'm headed into traffic for, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So we might end up just at an alternative place because I really don't want to get to this campsite in the dark. Obviously, I don't know how to not be bougie. So here we are, we're going to figure out where to park and then um, figure out how to pay the fee soon as we figure out how this goes. Where do we go? We made it to the campsite. Of course, it is pitch black outside. I just kind of picked a campsite at random, hoping that the view is nice. I don't really know. Jane wants to go to the bathroom. I want to eat something and I think I might just pick you guys up in the morning and this can turn into a really, really long vlog because yeah, this has been kind of chaotic and yeah, I got to let Jane out and then I want to eat something and I'm going to probably just go to sleep and like turn the heater on and cuddle up, figure out the next destination. I don't really know, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Like the inside of my body is melting or like thawing maybe it's thawing I don't know but me I am such a lizard person that I just need to be in the Sun for a while and I think I'm gonna enjoy my coffee oh Jane are you gonna come sunbathe with me you want up here oh no Oh, well then ah! run around then. Ah! No, I just want to sunbathe. That's all I thought you wanted to do. Gosh. Oh, you do want to. Well, then don't yell at me, man. I'm not doing it. You're being rude. We're going to be right here sunbathing, enjoying the sun. But I will say this. I think we're done going south. This is moderate weather that I can deal with. Oh, there she is. This is moderate weather that I can deal with. This is nice. I'm not too cold. I didn't wake up shivering. I didn't even run the heater all night. 
So yeah, welcome to Arkansas. We're gonna travel around Arkansas and see what we can find. Yes, there's going to be some leftovers for you. Chill out, crazy. I love how this is the little thing that I got from a lady. She goes by Miss Janet on TikTok, and she gave me this little dish, right? So I use it for my oatmeal, and I've literally figured out the proportions so well that it's like almost overflowing, but not exactly overflowing. <laughs> It's so perfect and then there's like a little bit left and then Jane that's what Jane gets That's Jane's breakfast. Why are you so grumpy looking? Hmm? What's the grumpy face for? <sighs> to you too Rude We are making some tea what you were hearing in the background right now is actually the commercial because I'm watching the nomadic movement. Now, I want to tell you guys the easiest way to support me as a channel for me and Jane traveling on the road is to watch the commercials that are playing in between my videos. That puts a little bit of change in my pocket. That keeps Jigsaw rolling, healthy, happy, and on the road. And so that's what I do with all of the couples or channels that I support. I literally let the commercials play. So just letting you guys know if you want to support my channel, it's as easy as watching a commercial. No, I do not agree with some of the commercials that play, nor do I have the option to pick what commercials play. I'm just letting you know that that's one good way to support me. Jane <laughs> and Jigsaw. Well, yeah, you got to be on a leash when we're here. This. <laughs> it's going to be so hard to even tell you guys the name of this park. This is Toad Suck Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toad Suck Park. And... It's really beautiful. I chose a good campsite, I feel like. But as we're sitting here, we're gonna be here for one more night. And... I'm gonna navigate a few things before we leave here. Whoa, crazy. Okay, to assess this oil situation, um, I found a car wash that is eight minutes away. Tomorrow is gonna be a warmer day. So what I'm thinking we're gonna do is go to that car wash, spray down the van, and then 
basically we're gonna have to drive to our next location and hope for the best whatever we find um yeah that's pretty much what i'm thinking the oil though like here's the thing that gets me there's no real indication as to like where it's coming from but that's a lot of oil you see what i'm saying but i don't know where it's all coming from and i'm not necessarily losing a ton of oil so i'm gonna check my oil again when i drive to the car wash just to see what it's at but i don't think i'm losing that much oil so i don't know what this is and that's the problem one thing i will say is this oil leak i've had it since idaho when my turbo got replaced because I remember he power washed my engine and he was like, oh, you have an oil leak. Let's find it. And I said, okay. And I remember driving from Idaho to Oregon and back like to the, the border of Oregon. And, uh, when he looked at it, he said, I have no idea where it's from. And so... I think whatever that original oil leak was got bigger and that's what I'm dealing with. I just have to find it. And I think I have an idea of where it's coming from. Maybe. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'll update you guys soon. But until then, I'll see you on the next one. And yeah, I got to do some more research and I got to chill. I'm going to make some food and just kind of relax for the rest of the night. And then I'll head off in the morning and figure the rest of this out. I need a night to think. I need my brain to shut off. So bye bye.